Charles will go for then Benedict and Beatrice. Uh, Claudio and Hero now. Claudio and Hero. Uh, Leonardo, the old man. Dogbury Burgess, okay. Comedy characters. Think of comedy stuff, okay, you'll be fine. Braccio, Braccio. Don John, Don John, Mr. Evil. Come on in, Don John. Right, so now we're ready to tell the story of Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. We've got all of our volunteers up from the audience wearing their costumes. And volunteers, do you all know your lines? No. No. So we can't actually tell the whole of the story because we'd obviously have to use Shakespeare's words, but we can tell our version of it. So to begin with, this is a love story. We've got two very different couples. On this side, We've got Claudio and Hero, who are very much in love. Can you put your hands on your hearts and give us a big sigh? And give each other longing looks. Oh, fantastic. And you can see Hero doing the same thing automatically, giving each other longing looks and a big heart sigh. Oh, fantastic. They really love each other. But on the other side, we've got Beatrice and Benedict, and they absolutely hate each other. Would you shake your fist and say, I hate you? I hate you. And Benedict says, I hate you too. I hate you too. Fantastic. So we can see there's these very different couples. And Claudio goes down on one knee, and he proposes to Hero. Will you marry me? And what do you want to say to that, Hero? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. A love story. What do you think about that, Benedict? So it's rubbish. Rubbish. Fantastic. And we've got, we've got Hero's father, Leonardo. Leonardo, if you step forwards, do you want your daughter to get married just yet? No, I don't think she's ready. He's not ready quite yet, so we've got a little bit of time before the wedding takes place. And Don Pedro, you've got an idea with what to do with that time before the wedding, haven't you? Yeah. Don Pedro tells them that they're going to play a trick on Benedict and Beatrice to get them to fall in love. I'm going to play a trick on Beatrice and Benedict to make them fall in love. They take a walk around the garden where they know that Benedict is going to be able to overhear them. So if you come and hide behind this box, Benedict. Lovely. And they walk around the garden. If you come over here, gentlemen, and face the front. And Don Pedro says, says to these that Beatrice is in love with Benedict, but she's too afraid to tell him. Beatrice is in love with Benedict, but she's just afraid to tell him. Will you two say, yeah, I know, I agree? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So then they can leave the garden. And Benedict, what did you just hear them say? That Beatrice loves me. Beatrice loves you. How do you feel about that? It makes me feel great. <laughs> it makes you feel yeah. fantastic. Do you yeah. love Beatrice? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, can you put your hands on your heart and give us a big, ah? Oh. <sighs> Fantastic! And Benedict can go off now. And we've got the two happy couples. And they will be able to get married now because Beatrice has been tricked into falling in love with Benedict. So now we can all prepare for this beautiful wedding. Well, I don't like all this love stuff. Marriage, love, it's all the sham, isn't it, Don John? In you come. The villain of the story, an evil rubbing of hands, an evil love. <laughs> Excellent. And we're going to get rid of all this love, because we're going to prove that love is rubbish. So he calls for Claudio and Don Pedro. Claudio, Don Pedro. And he tells them that Hero is cheating on Claudio. Hero's cheating on you. Do you believe that, Claudio? No. It's nonsense, of course, because Hero's an innocent, sweet girl. So Don John is going to prove it. He's going to show it to them. So they go to the garden. They crouch down in the garden. They're hiding in the bushes, and they look up towards Hero's bedroom window. And they see a shadow in the window who looks a little bit like Hero. But in fact, it's Margaret. And next to her is Baraccio, who blows her a kiss and says, I love you. I love you. And Margaret blows a kiss back. I love you too. Claudia, stand up. Face the audience for me. Is that your fiance in her bedroom with another man? Oh, Claudia is furious. But you're not going to do anything about it yet. You're going to wait till the wedding. So Claudia and Don Pedro storm off back over there. 
and Don John. Up you get. This is your plan. This is all going well. A rubbing of hands, evil laugh. <laughs> Excellent. Off you go. Oh, this play's not about romance or, or about evil stuff. No, no. This is about comedy, fun and laughter. That's what we want. We're to cheer ourselves up. So let's bring on the comedy, the fun and the laughter in the shape of Dogbury and Verges. On they come with the horses. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Excellent, brilliant. And face the front, you two. Now Dogbury and Verges, they get their words a little bit muddled up. So Dogbury, introduce everyone who you are. I'm the coach, the bubble. He's the cuss, the bubble. He meant to say he's the constable of the town. Oh, well, gets his words wrong. Verges, you tell everyone what happened. Two villains under a vest. Two villains under a vest, he says. He meant to say under arrest. He's getting his word wrong too. And that's what these two characters do in the whole play. Get their word wrong and muddled up. But they're the comedy characters. Actually, these two are the heroes of the piece. The heroes. And why have you arrested them? Because they're saying horrible things about Hero was what wasn't true. What wasn't true? Bad things about Hero. And who do we need to tell then, Don't We need to tell Leonardo. OK, so call out for Leonardo. 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 But Leonardo's too interested with his daughter's wedding, aren't you? So tell yes. him you're too busy. I'm just too busy. Tell him it's really important. It's really important. Yeah, yeah, but I just can't do it. I've got too much things on my mind. Tell him again. Just listen. No, I can't. Seriously. And eventually, Leonardo tells them to go and deal with it themselves. Just go and deal with it yourselves, all right? OK. OK. okay. okay. Right, so, and off you go to deal with it yourself. That's it. Well done. Fantastic, because Leonardo is going to deal with his wedding. So we can actually have that wedding now. So if you come out, Friar Francis, and Claudio and Hero, if you come out and kneel in front of the Friar, and kneel down, doesn't she look beautiful in her beautiful veil? Lovely. And if you're going to ask Hero, will she take Claudio to be her husband? Hero, would you marry Claudio? Yes. Claudio, would you marry Hero? No! Why aren't you going to marry her, Claudio? She's been cheating on me. So Claudio points at Hero and he calls her a rotten orange. Rotten orange! And Don Pedro steps forward and he says, I was there, I saw it too. It's true, I was there, I saw it too. And Don John steps forward. I was there, it's true. And this all makes Hero faint. And Claudio, Don John, Don Pedro storm off out of the church, leaving Leonardo to point at his daughter and say, I'm disappointed in you. I don't believe it. They've ruined our beautiful love story. This can't be a romance. We need to buy ourselves some time so we can sort it out. So, Friar Francis, will you step forward and tell everyone that Hero has not actually fainted. She's died. Hero has a fainted. She's actually dead. Brilliant. That'll buy us some time so we can sort this all out. So, Leonardo, you can leave this way. And Hero, you can get up and come back this way with Friar Francis. OK, and now we're back to the comedy stuff as well. So let's have Dogby and Verges and bring on those prisoners that you've uh, arrested or under arrest. That's it, bring them on. That's a stack them over there. That's it. Dogby in the middle and Verges over this side. Good. Now, uh, Dogby, um, tell everyone what's going on here. We have arrested these villains. Oh, well done. Tell them it's interrogation or whatever. It's a segregation. Uh, oh, segregation. Get, again, get his words wrong, get him muddled up. OK, let's, uh, let's question these two villains. So um, ask them a question, ask them something inappropriate uh, about their, their clothes or something. And tell Verges to write everything down. Write everything down. OK, Dogbury, ask them their name. What are your names? Tell him. Braccio. Comrade. And tell Verges to write that down. Write that down. And comrade, comrade. Well done, Verges. And ask them if they believe in God. Do you believe in God? Mm, yes. yes. Tell them to write down, yes, they right. believe in God. Yes, they believe in God. Yes, they believe in God. Good. OK, you two, um, it's getting a bit boring. These questions are going to go on forever. So just say, we admit it, but you are an ass. Ready? After three, one, two, three. We admit, admit it, it, but you, you are, are an ass. ass. And write that down, but you are an ass. Write that down. I'm an ass. You are an ass. You are an ass. 
Don't breathe. You just realised what these two villains have called you. Just look out there for me. Don't move. And a real sad face and say, I am an ass. I am an ass. Ah, oh, big half in the audience there. Oh. 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 Hold on a minute. Did you just say that you did something wrong? Yes. Was it you two? Have you tricked Claudio into thinking that Hero was disloyal? No, it was me. It was you? Right, Dogbury, Verges, arrest these two and take them off to prison. Bring them over this way, that's it. Bring them right over there. Brilliant. And Claudio, come out, Claudio. Where are you? Claudio, do you realise what you've done? Your girlfriend, Hero, that you accused of cheating on you, she didn't really cheat on you. She was loyal to you. How do you feel about that? I'm very disappointed in myself. I think that what Claudio does is he goes off to Hero's grave and he goes off to pray to Hero, to apologise for what he's done. But now we can actually have a beautiful romance. We can get back to the weddings. So let's get the friar out here again. And let's get Benedict and Beatrice out here because we need to cheer ourselves up with a little bit of, I don't know, some love poetry. I'll give you a couple of lines of a love poem and then you say the love poem to Beatrice. So um, let's start it off with roses are red and violets are blue. Off you go. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet and so are you. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful love poem. Look at the way they're looking at each other. You can see they love each other so much. And now we can carry on with these weddings. So Benedict, if you'll just stand over that side. Bring back Claudio. I think he's done enough penance now. Back you come, Claudio. And he's going to marry Hero's cousin. So let's bring out Hero's cousin. She looks very much like Hero. If you come and stand in here. And Claudio, are you interested to know what this woman looks like that you're going to marry? Yes. So if you lift off the veil. It's actually Hero. She didn't really die. Hero, are you going to forgive Claudio for all those things he did to you? He called you a rotten orange. He, he said you cheated on him. Yes. You will. Oh, this is just true love between these two people, isn't it? It's so beautiful. So now we can finish on a happy note. In you come, Dobry. Tell everyone what you know. We've got some more information here. We've arrested Don John. You've arrested Don John? Yeah. Brilliant. That's even better news. So the evil character's been taken care of. We can finish with a party. And Benedict steps forward and says, Strike up pipers.